This year, let's be more intentional about how we spend our money. In this video, I'm going to share some things I've decided not to buy and hopefully inspire you also to think through your purchases. So in no particular order, here is my auntie haul for 2023. Things that I just really do not need to buy and I'm going to try to restrain myself from purchasing this year. The first one is general cleaning products. For a while, I have been using just a vinegar water solution with a little bit of lemon oil in it just so it doesn't smell too vinegary. And I have liked that. There's a few other homemade cleaners that I want to try, maybe using Castile soap. And to be quite frank, I have a crazy stockpile of cleaning stuff and I don't even know where it came from, but it's just accumulated over the years and I do not need to buy anymore. Number two is functionless decor. And we are planning on doing a little bit more remodeling this year, so I am gonna be purchasing some furnishing and decor, but I really want to limit myself to decor that is actually functional. Things like lamps and rugs, blankets, things that are actually going to get used and not just trinkets and knickknacks that collect dust. Number three is highly toxic makeup or toiletries. And I know this is a little controversial because everybody has a different definition of what toxic is, but for me, as I run out of things this year, I'm just going to go ahead and do a little bit of research on them, see if they have any chemicals that I do not want to be putting on my skin and find some healthier alternatives to purchase instead. Number four is outerwear and I have a coat that I would love to buy and wear. It's so pretty. It's just this gorgeous feminine dress coat but I know I wouldn't wear it because this winter all I've been wearing is my puffer coat and I haven't even been wearing like my really cute leather jacket or I just don't need more outerwear and so I'm restraining myself for this year. Next year if I still want the beautiful dress coat maybe I'll get it but no more coats this year. Number five is seed oils and artificial sweeteners and this is probably a topic for a whole nother video but I quit consuming artificial sweeteners a while ago when I discovered that they were really affecting my digestive system. I've had friends that have had other issues with inflammation due to artificial sweeteners, so I quit consuming those and bringing those into my house. And recently I went down some internet rabbit trails about seed oils, and I just think I really don't need to be putting that into my body either. So I'm no longer cooking with seed oils. I'm not gonna be buying those to cook with. And I'm also going to be trying to seriously limit how much seed oils I bring into my house just in processed and packaged snacks and stuff like that. Number six is single occasion clothing. This one is hard for me because I love dressing for the occasion, especially holidays. And I found myself wearing a lot of clothes that I don't actually like. Like, I just don't like the clothes, but I wear them because I feel like they fit the occasion perfectly. It's the perfect color for the holiday or the perfect amount of sparkle or ruffle or whatever it might be. And I just need to stop. I need to find clothes that I love wearing and wear those clothes even if it's some crazy holiday. Number seven is plastic toys, and this is obviously for my daughter. I have a two-year-old girl who has accumulated quite a few toys. Some of them she just never plays with, or maybe she plays with them every once in a while, but she would be just as happy without them. She much prefers playing outside in nature. She prefers doing household tasks with me. She prefers just chilling and singing songs, reading books, that kind of stuff, and she just doesn't need all of these plasticky, ugly toys. So no more. I'm not buying any more of those. Number eight is cheap jewelry. I've always bought cheap jewelry because I'm scared of losing or messing up expensive jewelry. But to be quite frank with you, 
I'm just sick of having a necklace that I absolutely love and then not being able to wear it two months later because it's tarnished and destroyed. Number nine is electronics. And I know this is a big category, but I'm kind of using it to describe all of the major electronics like phone, computer, AirPods, Apple Watch. I could see myself being tempted this year to upgrade some of those things, but I also know that I definitely don't need to upgrade them. The ones that I have work just fine. I use them every day and they're serving me really well. So I'm going to try and hold off on electronics for 2023. Number 10 is scented candles. And I went through a phase where I loved scented candles all the fragrances but recently i've come to the realization that it's not very healthy for me or my daughter and i've decided to switch to some healthier alternatives instead and now we are finally to my bonus item which is number 11. this one is going to be hard for me but i have found a way to get this for free so i'm trying to convince myself that i don't need to buy it and that is plants I love gardening. I find it so therapeutic and so much fun, especially designing new gardens. But I need to stop because over the past four or five years that I've lived here, I've put in four brand new garden spaces and designed them and furnished them with all the plants. And I just need to take a year off from doing anything new and just maintain and nurture the garden that I have. But if I do want new plants, I can get them for free at plant swaps and also at my local seed library. So because I do have some plants already established in my garden, I can divide those and share those with others and trade them and get other new plants in return. So I can still scratch that new plant itch and um, I am so excited for spring. So those are the things I am not buying this year. But in my next video, I'm actually going to talk about 10 things that I want to buy more of in 2023.